Welcome back. LSU baseball hosted Auburn this weekend, looking to win their second conference series of the season. After falling on Thursday and picking up a win on Friday, the rubber match was set for yesterday. Okay, Throwing off the first pitch in game three, a Dylan Cruz fan. The sophomore gifted the tickets to the fans family. Let's pick things up at the bottom of the second. The Bayou Bengals down by one with runners on the corners. Jordan Thompson hits a chopper up the middle. Jacob Berry crosses the dish and the game is tied one all. Jump to the top of the fifth. Auburn back on top 2-1. Sonny DeChera launches this one into center field. A two run bomb and Auburn extends its lead 4-1. The home Tigers trying to rally a comeback. Same score. Bottom of the seventh, LSU with the runner in scoring position. Trey Morgan chops this one up. The center drives in K. Dottie for another run. LSU shrinks the gap. Four to two. Next frame. Auburn going to add to their lead. Two runs. They now lead six to three. That's a shot there. Morgan back at the plate. Goes yard. LSU draws within two runs. But the Bayou Bengals, their offense would stop there. LSU loses the series, dropping game three, six to four after another poor defensive outing. It's hard, and, and it's not just the pitching. Like I said, our pitching is doing fine, but when you compound, um, when you compound defensive uh, miscues on, on top of asking guys to do as much as they possibly can, then you're just putting a lot of pressure on, like, I mean, Joe Bear's been on fire, but when he, he strikes out there, when it's first and second, nobody out. It puts a lot of, a lot of pressure on you, um, but hey, man, welcome to, to the top of college baseball. Things don't get any easier for LSU as they enter the heart of their SEC schedule. Jared Paul Joseph has more after the Tigers' loss. It's a question LSU needs to ask itself after dropping the second of its first three SEC series. Can the second best offense in the conference continue to bail out the league's worst fielding defense? Almost as if counterpunching itself on Saturday, every time the Bayou Bengals showed their offensive explosion, the defense reared its ugly head. And the fielding errors are an issue. Head coach Jay Johnson can no longer allow. It's hard, and, and it's not just the pitching. Like I said, our pitching is doing fine. But when you compound defensive uh, miscues on, on top of asking guys to do as much as they possibly can, then you're just putting a lot of pressure on. Like, I mean, Joe Bear has been on fire. But when he, he strikes out there, when it's first and second, nobody out, it puts, it puts a lot of pressure on the next guy. And we've been working hard. We're taking a lot of infield. And it's just something that we got to continue to work on. It's not going to change overnight. But I feel like we've gone a little, we've gone better over the past couple of weeks, and it's just got to continue to improve. Guys got to keep working hard. Defense, of course, starts on the mound. And Saturday's loss is another example of the rotating door the Tigers have for game three pitchers. Five Tiger arms stepped on the bump against Auburn. But Coach Johnson is not blaming his pitching staff for the Saturday loss. But until we get guys that locate their fastball and make their breaking ball go down and can soften guys up with change-ups, where it's hard to have guys get through the order, you know, two or three times if you don't have that. So this one's not on the pitching. Um, other than we gave them a couple freebies and, and they cashed in on them. The Tigers remain winless, 0-3 in game ones during SEC weekend battles. And their next conference opponent is on the road against the reigning College World Series champions, Mississippi State. Covering LSU baseball for your Go Nation, I'm Jared Paul Joseph. From baseball to softball, the Tigers trying to avoid the sweep this afternoon in the top 25 showdown with Kentucky. LSU gets on the scoreboard first. Wild pitch by KU. Allie Newland scores. Tigers take a 1-0 lead. Wildcats, they're going to respond in the fourth. Riley Smith slaps one of the second basemen, sending Tatum Spangler home. We are tied one all. Tigers double their lead in the sixth. Danica Coffey smokes this ball deep to left center field. KK Madry on her horse, beats the throw to home. That's an RBI double. LSU takes a two to one lead. Same frame. They keep it rolling. Ciara Briggs hits a chopper down the third baseline. Coffey's going to score. RBI double. LSU leading three to one over Kentucky. Kentucky looking to rally in the seventh. Runners on second and third. Nico Harrison. That's a shot up the middle. Two runs will score, and Kentucky, they sweep the Tigers. They get the 5-3 run.